In this video recording, I'm going to create a pyramid and I'm going to cut the corner out. The units that I'm using are meters set to the tenths place. So I just wanted to show you that. I'm going to use a 14 font. I am going to erase tie. So I'll delete tie. And let's get started. Select tool just to get orientated. So let's go down to the rectangle tool. I'm going to create the base, which is going to be a rectangle, which will be three meters, comma, five meters, and enter. This has been typed into the dimension window in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. Next thing I'm going to do is draw in some diagonals. These diagonals will become the lateral faces of the pyramid. Select your Move tool, grab this endpoint in the middle, and pull up directly up on the blue axis. If you don't go directly up, you're not leaving the plane. So make sure you go directly up. We're going to go four meters. Perfect. You want to use your dimension tool and check your measurements. It's right here. The line tool is where I'm going next. I'm going to draw in some segments along the lateral faces, so go from the apex to the midpoint of the left triangle and down to the midpoint of the right triangle. So we're going to look at these two lateral faces. Pick up your eraser tool and let's just go ahead and erase this front lateral edge. If you want to put some lines into the bottom, which we need to do, just click on any one of the endpoints and you'll create your surface. So what I'm going to do is create the triangles that show up inside the pyramid. It's very hard for students to picture what's going on inside, and they have to use the height in order to find the measurement of the slant height. And this, I found, is it's tricky even for my college students. It's, it can be tricky. So let's use our bucket. and. Notice that here we've got your modifier keys. I use those, I might use some of them today. So I just kind of want to show you where those are with your instructor view. Let's go to color and colors. I want to pick some colors that have a good contrast. So we're going to use this icky brown. And then uh, let's go down to a light green. Uh, let's change this to a better orange. There we go. The dimensions of the inner base of the inner triangles should be half the measure of the side. So that is 2.5. We can measure this along the outside. This is 1.5 meters. Perfect. We know the height should be four meters, so here is our height. The reason this is important is because students need to use the base of the left triangle, which is the 2.5, and the height to get the lateral edge on this left triangle. A lot of times they'll mix this up and they'll use the, the edge that is adjacent to that triangle and that's not what we want to use. So your Pythagorean theorem would be one, I'm sorry, 2.5 squared and four, uh, four squared to get this lateral edge. And that's not a lateral edge, to get the slant height. You can find the slant height by using the text tool. This is a lot easier than trying to use your dimension tool for a line that does not fall in one of the planes. So I usually use the text tool and it's approximating because it rounded. So we have to put this approximation symbol in here. Again, I'm going to use the text tool to grab the measurement of the lateral edge. Now we know that the slant height for these two triangles is going to be different. So let's grab this other one and we see it's 4.3 meters. And that should make sense that it's smaller 
because it doesn't have to move out as far from the center of the pyramid as this other one, which is moving 2.5. So that's another way that your students can check their answer and what they're looking at. I don't think there's anything else I want to show you here. Obviously, there's some other ways that you can create the pyramid. I like to use this method because my students can just see everything that I'm doing, creating the pyramid, and then cutting away the corner. Thanks for watching.